Wow, it's time for another show full of tips and ideas from the sales growth leadership expert, Dean Akers. Known for his experience in hyper-growing companies and creating cultures for high-performance teams, here's Dean. Welcome to your Sales and Leadership Ninja Show. I'm your head ninja, Dean Akers, and every week I bring you one of my crazy rants to help you stimulate you in the realm of sales and leadership. Today's show is how to make $200,000 a year in sales. I've helped a lot of salespeople in my career, in my own companies and other companies, exceed $200,000 in sales or $200,000 in personal income. Uh, and it's usually helping them adopt a strategy and a plan that is very simple that has always worked for me. And today I'm going to share that with you and also give you an opportunity today if you want to reach out to me for me to actually help you, which I normally don't do. But I'm, I'm really interested in really helping all my listeners if they have some personal needs to get this going because it really works. It really works. And if you have a company with salespeople, it really works for them. So when I graduated from college, I remember some advice a very smart person gave me. He said, find out what the top wage earners <coughs> earn in the position you want and is there upside tied to performance. So when I meet people, they're always wanting to know what the guarantee wage is versus the opportunity wage. This is always going to be a real limiting factor in their success. So what you want to find out is what the top people make and is there is there upside to it? Is there is there is it a limiting thing? Is it a of salary plus a bonus up to 10% of your salary or some kind of nonsense like that. Now, if you want the security and all that and that's important to you, you probably ought to turn the show off because I'm all about the opportunity and there's tons of opportunity out there, more now than maybe ever. So you're probably saying that the risk is something you can't accept because you got bills and expenses. When you're looking at a commission-only job and you're wanting to be a on a commission only job and you're going to work for a company don't be embarrassed to ask them hey i'm i'm willing to risk if you're willing to risk a little on me which most companies if they see your confidence and they see you really got it going on will do that and they and you can ask them all i want is a draw of x to make me some coverage and i'll go up and down and it takes out the peaks and valleys of my income. And if they say yes, then you're then you're almost on the way home. Then you want to ask uh, what their top earners make in money. And you want to know what their top wage earners. And if you're taking this job, it's not, don't be embarrassed to say, can I talk to them? Pick up the phone, call them, go meet them, have coffee with them. Again, you're making a big decision and you're talking about how to make 200 grand a year. And just FYI, when you go back to your high school reunion and you're making two or 300 or 400 or a million a year, you're in the top couple percent of your high school graduating class. And I don't care what college they went to, what degree they got in, what profession they're in. When you're at 200,000 plus income, you're in a top wage earner position. You're in a higher wage earning position than a lot of doctors and lawyers. Trust me, this stuff works. So if you've listened to my previous shows, you know that it's really a math strategy and we have shared ways and stuff this has worked in the past and we've created so many success stories out of it. So you want to jump in if their top wage earners make over 200 grand or have upside. Now you found this opportunity where you know others around you make a lot of money and you map your own strategy out for $200,000. <clears> the process I've shared on previous shows, I'm going to share again. I'm going to even throw out a bigger opportunity today. The first step is creating a CV list. The CV list is a customer value list. It established the economic value of every possible customer. <laughs> We've talked about this on previous shows. This is a crazy process. It is a eye-opening process. It is a what process. So the premise of this is to list all possible customers 
of what you sell, whatever it is that you could know of, and then adopting a strategy of if they're going to buy from you, not or when they're going to buy from you, not if they're going to buy from you. And when you adopt a strategy of when they're going to buy from you, not if, you start earn, understanding the, the economic value of the CV process and how it works. Now, I've met a lot of people that uh, sell on RFPs or always chasing deals. And then they're always bitching about competition price and have a bunch of excuses. I'm telling you, if you're, the, if you're on somebody's asking you to quote, and you and you're getting asked to quote or you get an RFP or or which is a request for proposal or anything like that you are late to the game can you win some of those yeah but when you lose them in bitch and stuff it's your fault because that customer more than likely was not a customer that just appeared with a need of what you sell they probably are customer that needs what you sell and you just didn't know until they RFP'd you. And if you take the time to research all the potential customers in your area, you will find it is huge. In fact, I was helping a company not too long ago and we were talking about the potential customers and they were talking about competition. And we found out they weren't even on 1% of the transactions in their small territory. And then we did just a stupid little exercise where we went down one highway in their territory and we proved out they could literally quadruple their sales just by knowing the deals on the one highway. They don't even have to go around their territory, just calling people on the highway. And it was like, what? How eye-opening is that? But yet, still people fall in that process of chasing deals instead of using the if versus when. And I always go, it's not if they're going to do business with me, but when they're going to do business with me when I'm doing my CV list. So again, the CV list stands for customer value. It, it's where you set up the criteria of your customer's value of what they're going to buy. And once you know that, it, it drives your income from the purchase and you do know their ma the math of it. The math divides the income by hourly rate. When you put in a targeted income, which we're going to use 200 grand, that's $100 an hour. That's 2,000 hour a year divided by 200,000. When you think about $200 an hour, that's a lot of money. What's really, in, it, really interesting is when you take this $100 an hour and you, you do the math against what the estimated value commission-wise or income-wise to you is of potential customers. This is where the magic happens because it shows you how many hours you can devote to this client at a $200,000 income rate. This always is shocking. And what happens is it's just math and it's using a win strategy versus if strategy. And by the way, this always works. This always works. I've never had it fail because you're 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 going after a customer with the intent versus hoping they're going to buy because you know they're going to buy. In the real estate business, it's even more comical because I've talked to real estate people and they go, "Wow, well, it's tough," or "Right now, it's really good," and they don't understand that people move five and every five and a half years. Just math. Some people live in a house for forty years. But mathematically, if they take their network and really work them, and we've got other shows you can listen to about that, but they adopt a not if they're going to buy, but when they're going to buy, and they build these relationships, all of a sudden they amass this huge following that does business with them. So this math always works, and it always works, and you can make 200 grand a year. Now, you may be listening and saying, what does a CV list look like? Today's where I'm really making an offer I don't normally do. If you email me at dean at deanacres.com, that's dean at deanacres.com, and put CV list in the subject line. Write me a note about your industry and your compensations, and I'll send you a model of the CV list. Then all you have to do is input the information. Again, that's dean at deanacres.com. I'm offering this today for free. 
if you want to see the list model for yourself, just email me at dean at deanacres.com and put CV list in the subject line, and I'll help you out. Now you have your CV list and the mapped out strategy for your success. The real eye opener in this strategy is how far you've underestimated your income opportunity. I've had people when we go through this exercise, when you work it back to the 2000 work hours a year, we find a lot of times we have to keep jacking the income so that you can actually raise your income estimate to millions or a million with your CVs to get to where you're only working 2,000 hours a year. Again, I'm going to help you with that. I don't normally make these offers on this show, but I am because it's, I'm so passionate about this. So again, if you want me to help you as an individual or you as a company, if you're a sales manager or a owner of a company, you want me to help you, I'm going to do it for free right now. So just send out at dean at deanacres.com and ask for CV sheet, put some data in there, and we'll figure it out. Because I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you a lot. And um, this process always works. Operative word, always works. So I'd also like to thank today all my loyal listeners for their feedback and the downloads that helped me become a top podcast on Apple iTunes. It really makes me proud to, to know that my listener base out there is loyal uh, that I've actually helped them. I get comments all the time f- that people send me at dean at deanacres.com and you know it's really uh, I really enjoy helping all of you. It's become my personal mission if you will at my age to helping people understand their potential and eliminate their self-talk and be the best possible version of themselves for success. So I just want to thank everybody for tuning in every week. And remember to share this if it helps. My book, Self Talk, Think Like a Child, is always available on Amazon.com. I thank all those that buy the book. I, you know, it's not a big money maker, but I just know that it's helping people. And again, if you ever have a question, in this case, you can do the CV program with me and just reach out to me at dean at deanacres.com and I'll help you. So remember, After you listen today, look in the mirror. Ask yourself if you want to make 200 grand a year. If you want to make 200 plus thousand a year, then just reach out to me at dean at deanacres.com and I'm going to help you. You guys all have a great week and thanks again for always tuning in. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed this week's show. Subscribe today to our podcast and send questions or thoughts to help at deanacres.com. Also, visit us at www.dnacres.com to listen to prior shows and view helpful videos. Also, great tips to download. Thanks again. See you next week.